Okay, so in this video, we're basically going to show what an electromagnet is. Now, an electromagnet is a coil of wire around an iron core. Now, I'm going to get this. Hold on. Okay. You see, this is an iron nail. Now, remember when we took in uh, the lesson of magnets that there are ferromagnetic material and iron is a ferromagnetic material. And ferromagnetic material usually have domains that align Okay, and uh, can they become um, a temporary magnet. Now, this is a wire, okay? See, this is the simple electromagnet. When you have a battery and you put the wire through it and then you put an iron nail, okay, or a ferromagnetic material here, the, the current that goes from, from the battery to the wire creates a magnetic field around this wire. This iron nail becomes a magnet temporarily. Why does it become a magnet? Because the electric current is flowing through these, uh, this wire, which makes the domains align, which creates a magnet. Now we're gonna see how this works. Okay, we have some, we have some paper clips here that we're gonna pick up. We got a battery, okay. We're gonna do the same as this experiment right there. So, we're going to get, we're going to put this here, we're going to put this there, and because it becomes hot, I'm going to use these to pick it up, okay? Now I have a battery, and I have a current f flowing through these wires, which is creating a temporary magnet. Now let's check if it works. See, I was able to pick up the, this, these material because this nail has become a magnet for a temporary period of time. So electromagnets is basically creating a magnet from electric current. What caused this iron nail to become a magnet? It's just the electric current that's flowing, which is creating a magnet. It's making the domains align, it's creating this magnet. So this is an electromagnet. This is very simple, it's not complicated. That's all you have to know about this, okay? Now, there's a few things I need to tell you. Basically, what affects an electromagnet? What affects an electromagnet is basically, see, this is another example, just like the one we did. What affects an electromagnet is basically just the number of loops. So the more loops you have, okay, and the current. So if you have more current passing, you have, you, it is able to pick up like more paper clips. See, here you have less current. Here you have more current. So here it's able to pick up something bigger, okay? And how do we know how much current we have? It's because they use the ammeter to measure how much current. So this is less current, it's able to pick up only a small paper clip. This is more current, it's able to pick up something bigger. So basically current affects uh, the strength of the electromagnet. And what else affects the strength is basically the number of loops. So you have more loops here, 30 loops. Okay, you pick up a, small, a few paper clips. Here you have 60 loops, okay, and you're able to pick up a lot more. Okay, so these are the two things that affect how strong an electromagnet is. So the electric current, okay, and the number of loops. So here, electric current and number of loops. These are the two things that affect an electromagnet.